Hi. How's it going? You have all of the things up, including the Christmas tree. Yes. Very <laughs> holiday appropriate. Yeah. And I see you have, these are all the lapel pins here are. Yeah, so that's lapel pins. That's one of the lapel pins. Got a couple of the other ones, the pollen, the camping, um, and also the the river goddess or the salmon. I love a good pin shirt. I have a, yeah. I, one of my jackets is my pin jacket and every pin goes on that jacket. Essentially, yeah. it's like yeah. a canvas of, jack, of, of lapel pins. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and those That's particular exactly. lapel pins are done from your cut paper designs. Right. Right. And, and a, a little bit closer. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That's a much detail. more detailed shot. Yeah. So these guys are in the shop right now um, mm -hmm. and they're done from Jess's cut paper designs. And today we're going to talk about ceramics, but if you missed it, she was here for our September event and we did do, and there is a, in, on our YouTube channel, you can go and find the video about how she does her cut paper designs. So um, let's go ahead and talk about the ceramics though. Yeah. So yeah. Do you have a couple pieces you'd like to show us uh, before we take a look at the demo? Absolutely. Uh, so I've been, one of my favorite things recently has been making these really dark fish. Um, they've been really, really popular. Well. One of the colors um, sold out in less than a week. Oh my gosh, I'm not surprised. Right? They're so cool. Um, so there's still a few more of, of the remaining colors in the shop. So um, if starfish are your thing, if you're interested in oceans, uh, taking a look at those sooner than later is probably a smart plan. Yes. Uh, and next batch as well. Those guys hang on the wall. I see one behind you. They do, yeah. I've got one hanging up on the wall here. Just really um, simple hanging system. So you don't have to, to be a great uh, art installer. Uh, <laughs> little little tiny hole, you just put a nail in the wall. Right, hang right weight so goes really into easy. drywall. You don't have to worry about a stud finder. Um, and they're really nice and light too. So they're, they're designed to hang um, in whatever way I thought was the most attractive uh, organization of limbs for them. Now that's something interesting to think about because like, you know, as a person that's not making them, you don't think about the fact that you have to make a decision about which direction the hole right. on the back is going. Right. Um, so that's kind of, that's part of your process, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's part of the process. And that's also the case with things like um, the abstracted female forms. Um, so figuring out how they're going to hang is really important because if you put the hole in the wrong place, you're going to end up with things sort of tilted. A jaunty, yeah, a jaunty right lady. Here. Not that yeah. there's anything wrong with a jaunty lady, but. Right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. And sometimes I pick the jauntiness on purpose, so. Yes. Well, yeah. and then one of the other really appealing things I've seen you do with the starfish is arrange them in like kind of a collection of like three, yeah. three or five or something of them. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, which is a really absolutely. nice way to fill out a bathroom wall. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, or those like little spots in hallways where you yes, or that one pesky wall that's like space. this wide. That's yeah. like, what do I, what do I do with this? Exactly, that is where you put the exactly. starfish. That's what you do with that. And they they come in a variety of different sizes too. So they're mm. sort of between about uh, two and a half to six inches. So if you get a collection of them, you can kind of arrange them. Yes. Uh, it feels more organic. Very cool. Well, let's see how the starfish are textured. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and I'll switch over to a screen so you'll be looking at my, my table over here. All right, so at this point, um, you should be able to see some tools here. I have some different texture rollers. Uh, this is one of the, the texture tools that I use when I'm making starfish and many of the other um, sculptures that I make as well. Um, also sometimes use things from nature. So whether that's seed pods or shells, whatever the, the best tool for the particular piece I'm doing. Um, because in addition to doing the starfish, I do um, the figurative sculpture and I do larger sculptures as well. Um, so I've got a couple starfish that are in process here. Um, they're kind of early on in their process. Um, so I would have to make sure I'm smoothing out all of the cracks, really making sure that that clay um, is also at the right um, moistness, the right dampness. Mm -hmm. yep. The clay really has a limited workability for the, the kind of applications I'm doing. Right. And if it gets too dry, it starts to crack and get yep. like kind of like little chunks will come off. It's, it's right. Not Absolutely. For, I'm also I spend more time um, smoothing usually, but yes, we'll kind of go straight to this. So well, to, 
some of the textures, I'm just going ahead and rolling, 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 rolling across. Oh, look how cool that looks. And the funky thing about the little texture guys is that it's the negative version of what you see on yeah, the exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, some of these are, are commercially produced. Um, sometimes I make my own rollers as well. Um, so you kind of have to think in reverse. Mm -hmm. And then same thing, rolling, rolling, rolling. Um, so be careful not to lift up the, the rollers because the textures end up sort of wonky. Oh, happens. yes. You want to apply consistent pressure yeah. when you. Yeah, exactly. Um, and while at the same time, kind of trying to, for me at least, make them look a little bit more organic. Um, what uh, Renee and Claire were saying really resonates um, with me as well. I live um, out in Astoria, Oregon, uh, which is on the Oregon coast. And when I was a kid, there used to be so many starfish um, in the tide pools. And, and as I've grown up, there's really been fewer and fewer and fewer. Um, and I've always been really fascinated with them. So that's how I started making these too. Okay. Yeah, so a little bit more work left to do on this, but um, that's sort of the basics of how I start getting the textures that I'm looking for um, to be able to, to have finished projects um, later on as well. Okay. That's one of the ones that's gotten glazed. It's gotten finished up. Yeah, we'll stop um, share now. Yeah, oh, real quick for the one that you just showed, but you can lift it up. Um, yeah. which, which texture roller goes with that particular? Yeah, so this texture roller, that would be this okay. that sort of bubble texture roller um, to get that sort of bubbly texture. Yeah, mm -hmm. the starfish have all sorts of different textures as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clean my hands off here. The, the chocolate uh, clay I use, it's called trail mix uh, dark chocolate, which sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. Really stains my hands. So I'll do a uh, yes. little wipe before I move on to holding other things up. Fair enough, especially because all of your stuff is like this precious porcelain that's very white and exactly does not need big chocolate clay stains on it. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's fantastic. Oh, well, thank you so much for showing us the process for that. It's really interesting to see the way that the textures lay down. And I think people probably don't realize exactly how much like consistency you have to have to make one of those textures successful, even on an organic creature like right. a starfish. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. And then also totally unique too. Of, yeah, each of them is completely unique. Um, it's part of the organic nature of it. And then when you create something that's organic, there's also like a tendency, I think, with humans to try and make things symmetrical. And so you kind of have to struggle with like, how do I make this, you know, be random and not like, if you ever tried to make a random pattern or something, it's it's kind of like that. Yeah, absolutely. The limbs I saw a question about whether I have my own kiln and I actually don't. Ah. Um, I fire my ceramic pieces usually through community studios, mm -hmm. um, which is a great way to, to meet people, but it does mean that my pieces are more limited run um, than they might otherwise be. Yes. And uh, you're still firing through the same place that we were firing at in St. Right. John's, correct? Yeah, St. John's Clay Collective. We can give them a little shout out. Yeah, this is yeah. when I was living in Portland. That's where I fired as well. They're a great little studio for firing yeah. small batch ceramics. Yeah, absolutely. Great, well, let's take a look at some of your other products. So Yeah, absolutely. So um, we showed those earlier, the mini prints, um, but I have a lot of other designs as well. Um, so I've got some more designs for nature lovers. And uh, I think you can see this, the, the slug and the plants. I've also got some more um, house plant styles. So uh, those are great as well. Um, insects, I'm just fascinated by all things in the natural world. Um, I have my mermaid, which has been quite a popular one too. Um, as well as stickers. So it's a great addition for, for small gifts or gifts to um, the colors or children as well. Um, and the ornaments as well. So lots of different shapes and textures of ornaments um, for, for the- Can you hold up a couple of the ornaments? Oh. Um, because like, especially the ones with the crackle texture, because I'd love to talk about, we were talking about textures, but also textures are achieved through glazes as well. Yeah, so that's, one of the, this is a, a, a glaze that I really enjoy. I really like this, the textural quality of it. It reminds me of frosting or, or something sort of icy and 
um, beautiful. Very appropriate for also, um, just some smooth ones. There's ones that have crackle. Uh, there are some pieces that have sort of a combination where I've done um, layers of underglaze and done sort of a pink and then added a glaze or a crackle over the top as well. Really There's a lot of variety. Um, and the way that they're offered on my shop right now is that you can uh, select either a, a regular size or a mini size um, and you can get one, five or 10. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a, a random assortment. Um, but if you've got specific requests or things that you really need, you can always message me and I'm happy to put together a special order. Awesome. Is that also true for the sizes for like the starfish, for instance? Yeah, exactly. So the starfish, it's a, um, since they're all relatively similar, the smallest ones are, are probably, so this is sort of a medium size. So mm -hmm. they're, the smallest ones are about this big and the largest ones are just a little bit bigger. So those are just offered as a random assortment. Um, and if you buy more than a couple of them, I try to make sure you've got a couple of, of each size, depending on how many you order, just so that they'll kind of make a, a beautiful arrangement together. Gotcha. All right. Well, that's fantastic. Um, do you want to also show us maybe one of your vinyl stickers real quick? Yeah, absolutely. So I've got, I could see what the size is by seeing them in your Yeah, room. absolutely. So um, the, the largest ones, um, you can see it next to my, my head. So they're they're taller than sort taller of than a hand, <laughs> than um, a small a small hand. <laughs> right, right. I'm a small-ish person, um, and then these ones are a little bit smaller. Oh, like yes. the, the river goddess or the the salmon. Uh, that's got the whole life cycle of the salmon too. Oh, look at the little baby! Right to the yes. to the full size salmon, and then back through the loop, um, and then also the camping one as well. Cool. So people put these on their water bottles, on um, bikes as well, uh, cars, you name it, they stay on pretty well. Uh, they're vinyl, so they're they're meant to last. Yes, vinyl is a very solid material. It also Absolutely. has the ability to uh, shape with heat as well. So if you put yes. it on a surface that's not completely flat, you can take a little hair dryer and shrink it to fit so that's yeah. a fun little tip from a, a former sign person <laughs> for vinyl yeah, stickers. Absolutely. So all of those are available in Jess's shop and you can go to her shop um, from our web page, our event page and uh, go and find them there. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. And all of the pieces right. I've shown are between $4 and uh, $35. So they're all really super affordable. Right, all great Christmas present or, or yeah. holiday present uh, price range and there's even room for stocking stuffers in there I would yeah, say exactly yes, absolutely well thank you Jess I really yeah, appreciate singing in your studio and I love the demo with the texture that was very cool thank you, thank you so much for being here hey thanks for watching for more videos like this go to the link here and to support us you can join the patreon by going to the link below